What's up, everyone? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. This video is about using the iPhone 7 in the year 2020. Now, I know this is a very somewhat most part outdated iPhone, but it's one of one of the most interesting iPhones. Um, as you can see, there's no real glass back on it, and it only has a single lens and flash. Um, this is like one of the first uh, iPhones to go away with the headphone jack. And it's still keeping that uh, Touch ID down there at the bottom. Um, and no real cool gestures like on the regular, uh, well, the newer iPhones, iPhone 10s, and things in that sort. But uh, my my overall experience using the iPhone 7 um, as my main iPhone, it's been very interesting. It's um, been cool. I've been knowing how to, you know, tinker with it and tweak it out the way I want it to be. I know I I can't stand the apps being cluttered. And yes, I do have folders, as you can see. I do have folders on some of my um, apps. But for the most part, um, yeah, I, I, I just been using it for um, messaging. I've been using it for um, some games. I do have a, a few games on here right now, as you can see. Um, Novo, these are some of my favorite games, Asphalt, Novo Legacy, um, stuff like that. And I even got uh, Pokemon Go and Sonic the Hedgehog. I know I got two gaming um, folders, but... And um, I I check my emails on the iPhone, and, you know, I read up on the news. I use the news app. Uh, I actually got a few news apps, and it's, it's certain reasons um, for that, but... Yeah, you know, I check in on what's going on around the world. Uh, of course, you got to use the weather app. Got to know um, what type of weather it's going to be um, for the day. <clears throat> so you can prepare yourself for your work week or work day and um, know what to wear. And, of course, um, I did set this up to my liking. How I wanted my, um, my news feed or widget feed, whatever you want to call it, however Apple wants to claim this, but... For the most part, it, it works. It gets the job done, and that's what it's supposed to do. And that's um, you know, really um cool about it. Um, also, I've been messing around with this, so you know, you got your drop controls, so you can dim down all that right from um, your home screen. Just slide up, and boom, you can turn on Wi-Fi. You can put it on airplane mode. You can turn off data. You can turn off Bluetooth. You can play your music. Um, you can even screen record, um, you can record audio, uh, check battery life, put it on, you know, battery saving, driving mode, things of that sort. But you can also go in there and add many more toggles or shortcuts as you want. Now, I do like the cool things you can do with the, I guess, 3D touch. I don't know if that's on the new iPhones, but yeah, um, I like to get easy access um, to my messages, uh, emails, and even, um, websites. I like to quickly get into the most recent and that stuff. So that's what I do like a body. Now, um, this is the text now wireless edition. The reason why I said it is because, uh, for your calls and texts using a text now application, but you could also use iMessage over Wi-Fi and you can use FaceTime over Wi-Fi. It just doesn't uh, well, for calling, texting only, it doesn't work. But if you have data on your service, it will work. So if you sign up to the $20 or $30 plan, you can use um, iMessage and FaceTime without having to um, rely on Wi-Fi and things of that sort. But one thing I wanted to um, bring to people's attention with this $10 plan or if you're on Wi-Fi, the calls and texts are 100% free. Basically, everything on Wi-Fi is 100% free. You don't have to, you know, pay monthly bills if you're using Wi-Fi 24-7. But if you're away from the Wi-Fi, there's some interesting stuff I want to show you guys um, about some of these apps, most of these apps, okay? So, um, even even on the iPhone, these apps work just like on Android. I explained that on Android. You want to see um, my top offline apps for Android, I'll leave that in the link in the description box um, below. And um, most of these apps will work 
on your iPhone as well. So um, no further ado, let's go ahead and just talk about some of the applications uh, that you can actually use uh, without data or Wi-Fi, even on your iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe up for the toggles, if it works. <laughs> Turn it off. Okay, disconnecting from Wi-Fi. And as you can see, now it does say Sprint LTE, but I'm gonna show you that I don't have data, like internet connection, go Pluto TV. <clears throat> See, it's, it's taking so long. It shouldn't take that long to load up. So that means it's trying to it's trying to find connection, but I don't have connection. All right, I don't have full access to the internet. I put it like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get out of that. Um, let's try Zumo, and it's probably gonna do the same thing. Okay, see how long it's taking. Now, so there are applications that give you offline access even on the iPhone. So we're going to go ahead and um, let me turn up the brightness. There we go. We're going to go ahead and open up the entertainment app. Now, if you already got an Amazon Prime account or Amazon Prime subscription, all you have to do is go to the Amazon Prime video application. All right. And if... If you see download, let me get up, look closer. So you see download. So this is like one of the latest Amazon original movies. So I can watch this offline if I don't have internet access or if I'm away from the Wi-Fi. All right. So keep that in mind. Um, another application that lets you watch movies offline is Movies Anywhere. Okay. And all you have to do is just go to your save movies. And this is the movie I have downloaded so I could play this movie if I wanted to. All right. So, um, yeah. And also there are uh, music applications that will let you play music offline and podcasts. One is called CastBox. All right. One is called CastBox. You can uh, play podcasts offline so this is one all right um another one is called audio mac all right once you have it installed and set up you could go to the uh, audio mac and download um for offline um music not sure why it's not doing anything okay once again, you got Amazon Prime, you got Amazon Music Unlimited. You know, you could use offline access, get you a playlist of music that you want offline, and there you have it. So you can watch movies and music, watch movies and listen to music without internet. As long as you have that download button or offline access, you can do that. Also, if you have your location turned on, you can use the transit app. So it even still keep you up to date when the next train, next bus is en route and let you know how much time you got to get to that destination, even offline without internet. All right. So keep that in mind. If you need internet, I suggest you check out Wi-Fi maps application. It will help you find a uh, Wi-Fi um, nearby in your section. You got a gas station with Wi-Fi. Um, stuff like that. So, yeah, I definitely recommend you get those two apps. Um, like I was mentioning earlier about news apps. Most of these news apps work without Internet access. BBC News. All right. So, you know, you could check. You could read on what's going on around the world. Things in that sort, even without Wi-Fi or unlimited data. OK, even even if you go over your data. I'm still getting notifications. So um, for ESPN, even when you go over your data, you're still able to, um, you know, check out the latest news. And, and look how fast that loaded up. So to be honest, I say offline access works better 
than internet access, <laughs> that's online access, in my opinion. That's just me. That's just how I'm thinking about it. As you can see, all these articles and pages are loading up super fast. All right. Um, other cool apps. Now, text now um, numbers do work with your Google Voice. So you have a Google Voice. Like I said, I linked my Twitter account um, to my Google Voice. And I also linked my Google Voice number to my text now number. So you can link your Google Voice. Um, you can link your Google Voice number to your text now. And you can link your Twitter account to your Google Voice. So all this can work, you know, implement, all this could be implemented um, through one application. So if that's all you want to use, it's just Google Voice instead of text now, you can do that. All right. Same way with Google Hangouts. Hangouts works. Um, Hangouts works without um, Wi-Fi on this service. So I can send a message right now. Boom. Boom, it's sent. So I can send Google Voice messages and Hangouts messages. Here's more proof. Watch one more time. And as you can see, I'm still getting notifications and boom. So this is still working with a call and texting plan. Um, like I said, the games work. I can still use Crossy Road. You know? Okay, and here we go. Let me get uh, even the Google apps. Watch this. Now I might not load up right away, so I just go to the most recent. All right, just go to the most recent. Boom, loaded up instantly. This is one of the latest articles I've been reading about the Nokia getting Android 10. So, and this is another way you know your article and link will work. It's got that little lightning bolt at the top. All right. And then you can also just send it straight to the Chrome browser. And watch this. Open in Chrome. Boom. Now, yeah, my battery getting low, but it is what it is. That should have worked, but... I think it's because of my battery getting low. It's trying to preserve battery. All right. Now, also, you want to check out um, the latest on TextNow website. You can, um, once again, and every budget, even $0. Phone service for everyone, even with $0. Once again, it's compatible with the iPhone. So, I have it on the iPhone. It's compatible. All right. You can use it on Android, iOS. You can use it on Laptops and tablets, you can make calls and texts on your Macs, your MacBooks, your iPads, whatever. All right. So, yeah, um, I'm just showing you guys just a little bit. Um, like I said, your maps works offline. Look at her. Point blank. As long as your service got offline access, it will work. All right, it will work. Okay, as long as you give it permission, it will work. Point blank. You can even read your books. You can, you can even read your books. You know? So I got comic books of the Ninja Turtles. I'm using it. You can take notes. You can still take notes. Let's create a note. All right, we'll go back home. Boom. You can even set reminders. Okay? You can set reminders. So I don't have any, but you know. Hit done. Let me hit done. Bow. Also, some other things you can do. You can even check your wallets. You can even check your wallets. Let's see. Nerd wallet. It's another app. I want to use my touch ID. Boom. Even Nerd Wallet w works without Wi-Fi. So you can even check, read the latest articles on Nerd Wallet. 
Uh, the wallet app even works. Of course, it wants me to put in my info. All right. So, you know, statistics. I mean, the basic functionality, basic functionality of a smartphone works. All right. The only thing you will want unlimited data for is to stream. Okay. But the best streaming is offline access, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. That way you won't be, you know, crying and whining about uh, why why my movie ain't showing right, uh, why my music buffering. If you have offline access, if you have that storage, you won't have to worry about all that. So <laughs> I just proved to you that the iPhone can even work perfectly fine without this so-called unlimited data or even being able to use Wi-Fi status. You can even check the stocks, you know. And then, like I said, I got the I got the widget, I got the the widgets on the side. So I'm just checking, I'm just scrolling and see what's going on, you know. So 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 here, here are the stocks right here. I could check my stocks. I could check the weather. You know, if you into the Bible, you can read the Bible, dictionary, word of the day. You know, I'm still getting all that Google News. I'm still getting all that, you know. Smart news. I'm still getting all the the latest news in the in the world right now. You know, paying paying as little as anything from just Wi-Fi only, ten dollars a month to forty dollars a month. It all depends on your preference. You can still take pictures. <laughs> you know, you can still you know take pictures. You don't need internet to take pictures or shoot video. Like I don't understand why people go crazy over that, but. It is what it is. I'm just showing you that the iPhone 7 is still usable in 2020. Um, even though it's like the lowest processor, the lowest specs, it, has, it doesn't have the best battery. You can, once again, you can still use the calculator and <laughs> things of that sort. Like I said, you can still listen to your music with offline access. You can still make calls and texts um, over Wi-Fi or, you know, a, a talking text plan. All right. And you can still do whatever you want to. And, you know, what I'm saying it just for the people um, that that believe they got to get the latest and greatest devices or, you know, at, at that time and moment, you, you can't afford the latest and greatest devices. These devices still work. Once again, I'm still getting notifications. You see it right on camera. So. Hey, there you go. I mean, I can still read my emails. I can still take notes. I can still do read the news. I can still, you know, check my weather. I can still check, you know, transits. I can read books. <laughs> I mean, what what more you want to ask for, you know? Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you still using the iPhone 7? And are you going to continue to use the iPhone 7, even though the iPhone 12 is coming around the corner, or I guess it's going to be around the corner? And what are your top apps that you use on your iPhone? All right, it's your boy, Two Phones. I'm out.